Login bonus. I'm so happy to see you again. I have cake! I'm glad you came again. Thank you! This is Jandy the Artsy Rose, and welcome to Raymond's story. I can't believe I never said that yesterday. <laughs> but we're here. This is Blood and Roses Raymond. That's a very interesting code. It has three tails. He still makes me think of a butler. <laughs> Everyone. <sighs> the two exit the dungeon with a look of disgust on their faces. After the sound of their footsteps fades away, Raymond draws closer. You really don't know what you're up against, do you? Raymond looks at me with his cold eyes. Looks down at me with his cold eyes. I'm saying this for your own good. Forget about resisting and give in to one of them. Never! It'd be a shame to miss this opportunity. Cool your head while you're in there. Raymond sighs and leaves the dungeon. Left alone, my legs give in, and I fall to the ground. I don't understand! Spade slips in through the iron bars. Are you alright? Hello, Spade. If this is what you call our, if this is what you call all right, those two seem to be determined to get you. They're really horrible. What do they even think people are? But I won't lose. I'll get out of here even without relying on those two. I stand up to search for myself for a way out. However, at that moment, the world in front of me turns black and my body begins to sway. Huh? I felt so dizzy that I can no longer stand. I fall to the ground. I feel like I am floating. I open my eyes slightly at the comfortable rocking sensation. I see the face of the person who is carrying me. Raymond? If this had been Alfred or Robert, I would have fought them off. I might have fought them off. However, I am somewhat relieved. And trusting myself to Raymond, I fall again into a deep, dark unconsciousness. I feel my body being rumbling, soft and warm, warm and soft. It looks like I've been returned to my room and placed into my placed onto my bed. I gradually regain consciousness, but my body feels heavy, and I can't open my eyes. Based on the voices I'm hearing, I gather that Raymond and Spade are nearby. She's just suffering from an... She's just suffering from anemia. Those two did suck her blood. Were you planning to leave Mina in there and come? What else could I do? Mina looks just like... Titania. I hope they're related, but still, it's surprising. Titania? Suddenly hearing my ancestor's name surprises me. I've heard that Titania was a superb witch, but she died at a tragic death. But she died a tragic death. It's not a coincidence that I came here. Are you planning to let to just let Mina become a vampire? One who loves and is loved by Titania's descendants will be heralded and will inherit all of his riches. That was Harold's will. Titania's descendant, meaning me. That's why they're acting that way. Please. 
You say riches, but those riches are 500 years old and covered in mold. But we have to follow, follow Harold's will to save this hotel. Harold's direct descendant, the heir will be either Alfred or Robert. The rose that Titania created. Rose of Pasta. Rose of Past. Sorry. Will wilt soon. Rose of Past. Is this a special rose that Spade had mentioned? If I drink its evening dew within ten days, I could be saved from her becoming a vampire. If Rosa Past loses its power, this hotel will collapse. We need to prevent that at all costs. Mina needs to love one of them, open the door to the Rose Garden, and save Rosa Past. So I was summoned here to save this hotel? Spade begins to say something but swallows his words. To preserve this hotel is my reason for living, and also my atonement. Atonement? Raymond and Spade all fall silent after these words. The room is quiet. With determination, I open my eyes and sit up. How does this sound, then? You are awake? Raymond's gaze falls on me. Yes, I regained consciousness a while ago. He's dropping, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Raymond keeps his cold gaze focused on me. You were talking about me, so it's only natural that I was interested, isn't it? Raymond narrows his eyes at my words. Samina, so, tell us what kind of plan you've got. Spade interjects, trying to stop the, starting, the staring contest going on between Raymond and me. First of all, I don't plan on loving either Alfred or Robert. Those two just want to become Harold's heir. It's not like they truly love me either. You don't know that yet. But they don't at the moment, right? And we don't have the time to find out. That's true. Rosa Past, Rosa Past is dying. Then we could also search for a different way. Besides, choosing either of the two. That's a pretty in innovative idea. Stop fooling around. That would go against Harold's will. There's no other way. Searching for one would be a waste of time. How would you know? You haven't even tried! She's right. <laughs> what does the cat say? What does the cat say? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Thank you for carrying me to this room, Raymond. But I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to help me. I didn't do it to help you. I did it because it would be troublesome if you died. That doesn't change the fact that you've helped me. Raymond silently furrows his, furrows his brow. I thought you might be awake. The rhythm of your breathing changed a few minutes ago. Impressive. Cats really are perspective. And? What were you going to propose, Mina? First of all, I don't plan on loving either Alfred or Robert. Come Harold's heir. It's not like they truly love me either. You don't know that yet. But they don't at the moment, right? And we don't have the time to find out. That's true. Rose past is Rosa past is dying. Then we could also search for a different way, besides choosing either of the two. That's a pretty innovative idea. Stop fooling around, that would go against Harold's will. There's no other way. Searching for one would be a waste of time. How would you know? You haven't even tried! <sighs> She's right. Got told by cat. Told by cat. <laughs> Spade pets the... Spade pats the mattress with his tail, as if he were applauding me. Aww. I'll save the rose in this hotel. 
And then I'll drink the Rose's Evening Dew and turn back into a human. Love will just get in the way until then. So I want you to protect me from this too, Raymond. Who do you think you are, ordering a vampire around? You're quite something, Mina. That kind of idea is something only you can come up with. Spade's tail was still swinging happily. It's an idea that someone who has become more thick-headed by the day those past 500 years couldn't even dream of. Oh, he's, is he referring to him? Are you talking about me? <laughs> no. But if you think so, maybe you're right. <laughs> Spade looks the other way. Raymond frowns. And how many days do we have until you become a vampire? Ten days, right, Spade? Right. Although, one day is almost up by now. See? But if we hurry, we won't find another way. We won't find another solution in time. We should work together. Well constructed suggestion. Raymond glares at Spade and sighs. First, I'll give you five. Fine, I'll give you five days. If we don't find any clues during those five days, we're giving up on your plan. And I won't let you out of my sight. Okay, it's a deal. Raymond glances briefly at the hand I held out to him. He doesn't even try to shake it. Ah, what a sour puss. This is getting fun. I didn't think something so interesting would happen this late in the game. It's worth living a long life. Huh, Raymond? Spade gets up and scratches. Stretches. I'll help out. I'll help out as much as I can, too. Thank you, Spade. I'm counting on you. Satisfied, Spade takes his whiskers and leaves the room. I'll let you know now that anything you do will be pointless. Raymond mutters bitterly. If you keep frowning like that, you'll never be happy. Happiness is of no value, but is a is of no value, but is of no value to me. Happiness is of no value to me. If I only accept your proposal because I thought it would make it easy for you to give in to them when you find out there's no other way. Think about which one you'll love while you have the time. Raymond tells me this and leaves the room. For some reason, Raymond's frown lingers in my heart. Mina's not easily swayed, but I do not have anything against such a strong, such strong women. I didn't expect Raymond to betray us, though. He's trying to prevent us from getting close to Mina. Which side is he on? He did not have any loyalty toward us to begin with. He only listens to Harold's orders. That's true, but... Mina's truly something else, dragging Raymond over to her side. Wait a minute, whose side are you on? I am merely interested to see which direction our tale will, he will head in. The next chapter will be exciting. I hope there'll be no more. I hope there'll be no more trouble than we already have. I hope there'll be no more trouble than we already have. <sighs> He's such a sarapus. Please go to the next chapter. Well, I would if I had more jewels. Oh, I wrote a diary about what happened today. Chapter one. <laughs> I have to help each other for mutual benefit, but I still can't trust him fully. I've got to find Rosa Pass as fast, as fast as I can. Here in Libra... Libra Sincera, there are a lot of odd-shaped residents. I'll try to make sketches of them from now on. I think she was trying to draw a spade. Mina. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you all in another video. Goodbye. These videos are almost as long as the one I've done with Philippe. They 